Now today we will begin our new concept that is about environment. Now before learning about the environment, we should know the meaning of the term environment. The surrounding or conditions in which a person, animal or a plant lives or operates, they live and do all their activities there is called environment. Now when we talk about environmental degradation, what do we mean by environmental degradation? A question comes, right? What is environmental degradation? So when we talk about environmental degradation, it is a process through which natural environment is compromised in some way reducing biological diversity and the general health of the environment that is known as environmental degradation or in short what we can say it is the decay of the environmental system due to human interference because human beings human beings are uh, causing lot of pollution by opening big big industries factories and all right due to that what happens uh, the all the biological biological life forms they get affected they get affected and the they'll be having adverse effect towards their health so that we call it as environmental degradation this process can be entirely natural environmental degradation through nature it can happen naturally in origin or it can be accelerated or caused by human activities. We know that human beings are responsible for most of the pollution, right? In short, environmental degradation can be defined as the decay of the environmental system due to human interference. Now, what are the reasons for environmental degradation? It is said that over pollution, over population or explosion of the population. What will happen if the population goes on growing on? What will happen? Who will tell me? If the population goes on growing on, what happens? What happens? Yeah over population it will result in what lot of competition lot of competition will be there for everything yes scarcity of food and water liquid good then we will not get land to live yes manoj barki correct we will not get proper pollution and then over population means use of lot of things which will result in pollution Yes, Mahin, it is deforestation, good. So, all that comes because of overpopulation and overpopulation, yes, all the types of pollution will be caused due to overpopulation. Overpopulation is related to urbanization. In rural villages and all, we have greeneries, right? But when we come to cities, towns, are we able to see greeneries? Very less, right? Because people are making big, big flats, buildings and all. For that, they will be destroying the natural vegetations present. So, overpopulation, urbanization and then plastic pollution. Usage of plastic, it, it contribute maximum in air and air water and land pollution so plastic pollution deforestation cutting of trees illegal dumping dumping of all kind of substances that is the reason for environmental degradation now environmental degradation it results in the form of acid rain flood landslide soil erosion all, all these are because of environmental degradation. 
Now, when we talk about environmental degradation, is the deterioration of the environment through depletion of resources, the resources will go on depleting, they will go on reducing, decreasing. Yes, yeah, sorry for the disturbance. Environmental degradation of resources such as air, water and soil, the destruction of ecosystem and the extinction of wildlife. Are you able to see clearly? Are you able to see now? Dear students, yes, yes, good. Okay, fine. Slight network issue was there. Now, it is defined as undesirable change or disturbance to the environment. Environmental, environmental degradation, it defines as undesirable changes or disturbance to the environment. There are 10 threats, right? That 10 threats. You can go back, those who are not able to get connected, go back and join once again. Video is tracking. So, you can go back and rejoin. Rejoin once again and then tell me whether it is clear. Now, you are able to see. Are you able to see? Okay. See, those who are saying video is not clear, just change your uh, pixel, no? Now, it is, it is clear. Okay, you join once again, no? Go back and then with the same link, you join once again. Yes, yes, it is clear now. Yes. Fine. No problem. Yeah. Good. Those who are not getting clear, you can leave and then join once again. It will be clear. So, environmental degradation is defined as the undesirable change or disturbance to the environment. It is one of the 10 threats. There are 10 threats. Among these 10 threats, one of the threat is environmental degradation by whom it is said by high level panel on threats, challenges and change of the United Nations. According to their survey, they have said that environmental degradation is one or among the 10 threats. Now, what are the causes of these environmental degradation? Let us try to understand the causes of environmental degradation. Right? Urbanization. Urbanization. For urbanization, what do people do? Lot of deforestation is done. New buildings are constructed. Construct, construct, construction system, when we talk about, it causes lot of pollution. And then what happens? Vehicles are increasing because people, each people, they want their own vehicle. Manoj Barki, just check your pixel or you leave once again and then join again. Hmm? So, that is because of urbanization. Population growth also one of the major factors that causes environmental degradation. Again, economic growth, increase in energy use. If we go on using consumption of lot of energy, if it is done, that also will lead to environmental degradation. Increase in transportation. Increase in transportation will result again in environmental degradation. Then intensification of agriculture. In agriculture, what happens? Farmers, they will be using pesticides, insecticides and so many chemical fertilizers those chemical fertilizers it will cause land pollution 
water pollution as well as air pollution. Now, when we talk about environmental degradation, the primary cause for environmental degradation is human beings only, human disturbance to the nature, it causes environmental degradation. Another, another cause is what? Pollution. Pollution is another cause of environmental degradation. So, pollution can come from a variety of sources including vehicle emissions. When vehicles are running, when they are using, using fossil fuels, petrol, diesels and all. So, due to emission of, due to burning, combustion of these fuels, what happens? Carbon dioxides, carbon monoxides, all these gases are released in the atmosphere, which will cause again threat to the environment. Agricultural runoff. Now, we use chemicals, chemical fertilizers in agriculture and when it rains or flow of water takes place then all that chemicals will be brought to the nearby water bodies causing water pollution accidental chemical release from sort of manufacturing works and all are released right and poorly managed harvesting of natural resources so, natural resources, it has to be used judiciously, very carefully, without destroying it. Water and air pollution are unfortunately the common causes of environmental degradation. So, in today's class, we will be learning much more about water and air pollution. Now, there are ways which can help to decrease decrease degradation. What are the ways by which we can decrease degradation in our environment? Some of the ways I have listed, other ways you can find out. One is by conserving water, conserving energy, purchasing recycled products, right? And then avoid throwing waste into, into inappropriate places. So, we should not throw waste wherever we want. There is a proper place meant for disposal of waste. So, we have to throw our waste there itself only. Yes, conserving water, conserving water, planting tree, very good. Afforestation, planting tree is again one of the, one of the measure that helps us in decreasing environmental degradation. Joining an awareness group, educating people, following the laws, rules, yes, planting trees to increase greenery, yes, planting trees, doing afforestation, social forestry, all those things we can do. We all were born to live in harmony with the environment, right? So, why are we born to live together? helping, helping the nature and then nature will help us. Indeed, we are a big part of it. We human beings are very big part of the environment and we certainly do not have the right to exploit and destroy it, which we are doing. We human beings are destroying and then exploiting the nature without thinking about the future generation. We think about us only. Right? We think about us only. We do not think about our future generations and then animals who will be here after us. There will be not only animals but our children's, their children's, the next generations, they will be living here only. So, if we exploit the environment now, then our future generations will get affected by this. Now, when we talk about water, as we know that water is a very precious resource, you might have heard people are saying declarative sentence, they are writing so many declarative sentence about water, no water, no life, no life without water, water is our life, 
नो अर्थ विदाउट वॉटर येस वॉटर इज अवर लाइफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वॉटर इज अवर मेजर ड्यूटी अवर मेजर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अ ड्रॉप ऑफ वॉटर इज इमोर्टल इमोर्टल एंड नो लिविंग बींग्स कैन सर्वाइव विदाउट वॉटर कैन यू इमेजिन लाइफ विदाउट वॉटर नो अर्थ विदाउट वॉटर येस मनोज नो अर्थ विदाउट वॉटर नो लाइफ विदाउट वॉटर मोहम्मद गौस रूपा करेक्ट राइट सो देर विल बी नो लाइफ वी कांट इमेजिन लाइफ विदाउट वॉटर एंड एयर एयर इज ऑल्सो दैट इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ वट डू वी मीन बाई वॉटर पोल्यूशन हु टेल मी वॉट इज वॉटर पोल्यूशन वॉट इज वॉटर पोल्यूशन नो लाइफ विदाउट वॉटर अंडरस्टूड वट डू यू मीन बाई वॉटर पोल्यूशन वॉट इज वॉटर पोल्यूशन हु टेल मी वॉट इज वॉटर पोल्यूशन या लेट मी सी हु इज गोइंग टू आंसर वॉटर पोल्यूशन वेरी गुड वैष्णवी कंटेमिनेशन ऑफ वॉटर येस शिव कुमार लेटमी सी दो हैव आंसर्ड वैष्णवी वैष्णवी करेक्ट एंड देन शिव कुमार नॉट दैट अप्रोप्रिएट बट ओके गुड ट्राई नंदिनी मेकिंग वाटर डर्टी करेक्ट इम प्यूरिफाइंग वाटर डोलू शॉर्ट आई डोंट नो वट इज योर नेम महीन पोल्यूटिंग ऑफ वाटर येस मनोज वाटर पोल्यूशन इज टू डर्टी द वाटर येस टू मेक द वाटर अनयूजेबल वी कैन से वाटर गेट पोल्यूटेड फ्रॉम फैक्ट्रीज राइट रुक्साना देन वेदावती polluting water by putting waste that is also water pollution nagraj contamination of water correct vijay lakshmi manjula dolu shots vijay lakshmi kavana rupa shivakumar vijay lakshmi ahana vijay lakshmi aditya gauda then nagaya kavana kavana venkatesh veena s s cam dot i don't know whose name is this okay daneshwari <laughs> daneshwari and then krupakar ahana nagraj shashank all of your answer is correct sana it is contamination of water so what is water pollution let us see here hmm contamination of water or degradation of the quality of water either due to addition of undesirable substances that means unwanted substances to water or removal or removing the desirable substances from the water by doing this we make the water unfit for use unfit for use for by humans animals industries and growth of natural biota biota all the living forms so natural water pollution again man made water pollution and natural water pollution are there if water get polluted we can't use it yes we can use it for other purpose but not for drinking cooking purpose right we cannot use it natural water pollution is due to washed down materials like silt from eroded eroded e double r o d e d eroded soil and then surface heating of large reservoirs so due to this also water pollution caused naturally but man made water pollution again water pollution is caused due to human activities human beings human activities like that is passage of untreated or un untreated or treated sewage that means uh, through untreated sewage just uh, directly directly throwing it to the water bodies industrial effluents big big industries what do they do all their waste they'll be releasing those to the nearby water bodies farm chemicals pharma companies and all right farm chemicals uh, that is agricultural chemicals uh, pharma companies so all these big big companies and all when they do manufacturing works and all they 
they dump all the waste released from these big big industries and factories to the nearby water bodies and then hot water we call it what thermal pollution hot water release of hot water directly to the water bodies is called thermal pollution that is also one man made reason now reasons or causes of water pollution what are those let us see one by one industrial waste yes industrial waste now let us try to understand for just 5 minutes stop messaging try to understand then again i'll ask you the question at that time you can answer many industries they produce what waste in the form of toxic chemicals and pollutants all these waste are dumped into nearby fresh water systems which will cause pollution of water again sewage or waste water the waste from household factories or agricultural land gets discharged into water bodies sewage contains organic matter and several pathogens pathogens are what disease causing germs now these sewage sewage it contains different kinds of microbes present in it if any life forms come in contact with these pathogens then they will get different kinds of diseases then fertilizers and pesticides these are used for crop yielding to get maximum yield right for maximum production in agriculture it flow down to the water bodies and causes water pollution and small part of these fertilizers and pesticides what happens see when we talk about the land so they are these pesticides are on the top of the land right pesticides some of them pesticides or chemicals some of them will flow to water bodies to water bodies it will leach down to pollute ground water by doing this it also pollutes ground water next is thermal pollution what do we mean by thermal pollution hot water from the industries and thermal plants they are directed to the to the nearby water bodies which changes the temperature of water and then it decreases the oxygen content present in the water if there is decrease in oxygen content then what happens this will kill the aquatic life forms so thermal pollution is very dangerous it kills the aquatic life forms then again oil spills that is the oil which gets seepage in water mixing of oil in water from oil refineries tankers and automobile workshops pollute water bodies killing animal life and affecting growth of phytoplanktons phytoplanktons are the plants that grow in water we can say aquatic plants aquatic plants right aquatic plants which go through the process of photosynthesis they are called phytoplanktons so they get affected by water pollution what are the effects of water pollution what are the effects destruction of biodiversity destruction of biodiversity destruction of biodiversity is caused then contamination of food chain contamination of food chain contamination of food chain what do we mean by that see when we talk about a food chain already you have learned in your previous classes we'll talk about green grass green grass or green plants they are what autotrophs autotrophs now all others are heterotrophs 
heterotrophs are which organisms the organisms which cannot be able to prepare their own food now here we talk about uh, okay grasshopper hmm? grass hopper grasshopper it feeds on grass then again grasshopper is feeded by what frog frog is again feeded by snake so this is all what it is a food chain passing of energy from one tropic level to another tropic level that is known as food chain so contamination of the food chain it takes place lack of potable water disease infant mortality the small kids infants are the kids below 5 years we call them as infants so infant mortality it causes and then other consequences of water pollution are what can anyone tell me diseases are caused see 21% of all infectious diseases and 66% of all death of children below 5 years are caused by contamination of drinking and bathing water by pathogens present in sewage cholera typhoid diarrhea dysentery and jaundice all these are the diseases caused by water pollution and from toxin toxic chemicals there are diseases caused due to toxic chemicals let us try to know about those diseases the diseases caused due to toxic chemicals let us see those diseases one by one when we talk about the diseases industrial effluents pass down a number of toxic chemicals now when we talk about uh, mercury mercury which is used in thermometer yes all those diseases very good now try to understand this mercury which is used in thermometer so mercury it is released by paper industry which causes a disease called minamata minamata disease is caused by mercury then disease is caused due to arsenic release of arsenic a chemical that causes black foot disease which disease black foot disease then there are so many other diseases nitrate it causes met hemoglobin uh, sorry met hemoglobinemia right and then again the disease caused due to cadmium is itai itai disease due to lead plumbism so so many diseases are caused due to toxic chemicals then decomposition of organic matter the diseases that are caused due to decomposition of organic matters what happens microorganisms bring about decomposition of organic matter by sewage and organic remains now this process requires what a lot of oxygen if organic matter is large or oxygen content is low then anaerobic breakdown of organic matter occurs in the absence of oxygen and this will produce number of pollutants like hydrogen sulfide ammonia metal sulfide organic sulfide and methane gas methane gas is really really it is a poisonous gas it is not good scum and sludge are also formed water becomes odorous and then turbid then again reduced of oxygen content takes place there will be change in the temperature and then what happens so many fertilizers they will be reaching to the water bodies from the field without proper treatment this will lead to the death of the 
algae and we know that blue green algae algae they are the main source of oxygen in aquatic life forms so this is all about the effects of water pollution now what are the methods to control water pollution what should we do use use less plastic or we can say say no to plastic or else using recyclable items reuse items which cannot be recycled avoid disposing of toxic chemicals into water bodies avoid spilling of oils plant fauna at lakes or rivers yes less less plastic should be used limit the use of detergents and bleaches detergents and bleaches should be used used less why why detergent should be used less why detergents why detergents and bleaches why detergents and bleaches it should be used less whether they are biodegradable or non biodegradable detergents and bleaches whether they are biodegradable or non biodegradable hmm answer to my question detergents and bleaches whether they are biodegradable or non biodegradable yes yes nandita they are non biodegradable yes dolu shorts it is <laughs> manoj barki ana jyoti kavana okay 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 all of you right it is non biodegradable then use of environmental friendly detergents so we have to use the detergents which are bio degradable environmental friendly detergents means the detergents which are bio degradable bio degradable and which will not cause pollution of environment join water conservation organizations do not throw away medicines in water supply yes avoid toilet for throwing household items some of us we flush everything inside the western toilet and then we flush it off so it may block the toilet pipe also and it is not good don't do that use your dishwasher or washing machine when it is close to being full install a rain water harvesting pit in your home conserve soil chemicals getting into the soil spread through water because of the top soil getting carried by falling rain so stop doing that we have to conserve soil not only we have to conserve water but we have to conserve soil too then turn off the tap while brushing your teeth and washing hands avoid bathing of animals cleaning vessels and washing clothes near the water water bodies and there are so many other measures other preventive measures by which we can control water pollution now we'll aapne dala na it is coming coming video is coming slight network issue is there there is problem in the weather no so network issue is there it will be coming now it is coming now are you able to see yes okay now what do we mean by air pollution air pollution refers to the release of harmful contaminants contaminants such as chemicals toxic gases biological molecules into the earth's atmosphere now air pollution is also of two type yes yes whose answer is this srujan the person a of pollutants in the air which causes the adverse effect in atmosphere is called air pollution yes good sujan correct your answer is correct hmm the next air pollution is also of two types one is natural and other one is man made 
Now natural pollution, how are they caused? Due to forest fire, pollens, pollens are present where in the in the flowers. So these pollens also they will cause pollution of air and then dust storm, big storm it will bring complete dust that also causes air pollution. Then man made, man made air pollution are what? Man made air pollution, it is burning of fossil fuels in industries, vehicles, we burn fossil fuels in industries, vehicles, thermal plants. Then gaseous emissions from industries, mining, mining, processing, all these, yes Manoj, it is smoke, it causes air pollution. Now air pollutants, it produce two harmful environmental products. We should know about it. It is very, very important. One is acid rain and other one is smog. Yes, mining also. Mining also causes air pollution. You are right. Now, let us try to understand what is acid rain. What is acid rain? Let us try to understand. Acid rain is caused by the presence of excess of oxides of sulfur and nitrogen and also chlorides in the atmosphere. Now, we will see how acid rains are caused. What happens? From the factories, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide or sulfur trioxide gases are released. These gases are released where? In the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. And what happens? In the atmosphere, these gases these gases all they will they will combine with what water water or moisture present in the atmosphere so when these gases combine with water then what happens we'll see see so3 when it combines with water then we'll get h2 SO4 sulfuric acid again when SO2 it combines with water we will get H2 SO3 sulfurous acid again when NO2 it combines with water we will get HNO3 nitric acid, nitrous acid, hmm? then we will be balancing the equation, balancing equation we will learn later. So, these are the acids, sulfuric acid, sulfurous acid, nitric acids, these acids, acids will be accumulated in the planet earth, right. So, that is all about acid rain. Now, when we talk about acid rain what are its causes it causes corrosion corrosion is what you will see when you buy any kind of metal container at the starting new at that time it will have luster shiny property after few days you will find that it will become dull so what happens here Corrosion takes place, damage is caused to the substance. That substance will react with oxygen present in the air and then oxides of that particular metal will be formed. Here corrosion and then pitting, meaning of pitting is indentation in the surface. Marbles when we talk about, marbles they are so shiny and all. Due to acid rain, you have heard about the story of Taj Mahal, pollution of Taj Mahal, it was caused and due to that government has taken serious action and then from the Supreme Court, a judgment was passed that all the factories which are located nearby Taj Mahal, they have to be shifted to other places because the marble of the Taj Mahal, it was getting destroyed and the color of that was becoming pale yellow. There were slight cracks also started due to air pollution. Then and limestone structures, so corrosion and pitting 
of marble and limestone structure it will take place due to acid rain acid rain will kill the vegetation and aquatic life it all the plants also get affected the soil becomes acidic if human beings are exposed to this acid rain then it causes skin diseases even skin cancer too now what are the effects of air pollution let us see the effects of air pollution effect of air pollution on the environment first let us see what effect does the environment environment has with this air pollution it prevents photosynthesis in many plants the process of photosynthesis will not take place properly due to air pollution causing a serious consequences for purification of air we breathe if the process of photosynthesis will not occur then what happens we will not get pure air right we will not get pure air it also contribute to the formation of acid rain frost snow or fog which are released during combustion of fossil fuels and transformed by contact with water that is steam in the atmosphere just now we have seen acid rain next is global warming global warming air pollution is major contributor to global warming and climate change increase in co2 in the air is one of the cause causes of the greenhouse effect so what happens when there is increase in carbon dioxide gases then what happens the temperature the temperature it rises there will be increase in the temperature due to increase in the temperature the polar polar ice will melt melting of polar ice will take place and due to that sea level there will be increase increase in the sea level and it will result in floods tsunamis and all yes that we call it as a greenhouse effect and on human being human being the effect of air pollution is what suspended particle particulate matter it causes asthma breathing problem bronchitis and then allergic cold in some of the persons pollutant gases produce irritation in eyes throat and lungs and also increases heart diseases hydrocarbon vapors not only damage internal organs but also produce cancer so in this way air pollution it has adverse effect in human beings also smog what is smog now smog is a dark brown or grayish smoky mist that occurs in cold weather you might have heard in news in delhi what happens formation of formation of smog it takes place so it is the combination of smoke plus fog that will cause smog right it is visible it is a visible indication of air pollution smog not only reduces visibility but is highly suffocating and harmful to human beings animals and plants so due to this inhalation of harmful chemical chemicals present in the air human beings suffer a lot some of them they die also due to this causes of air pollution are what causes of air pollution combustion of fossil fuels emissions from industries and factories 
agricultural activities that is use of pesticides insecticides and fertilizers already we have understood wildfire yes vinuta wildfire yes vaishnavi it is combustion waste production mostly because of methane generation in land fills methane gas are really poisonous then construction and demolition work also will cause air pollution what are the preventive measures for air pollution what are the preventive measures for air pollution using public transport turn off the lights when not in use recycle and reuse then proper combustion of fossil fuels the engines of the vehicles should be checked properly saying no to plastic bags then reducing reducing forest fires and smoking using filters for chimneys then avoiding usage of crackers this is all about air pollution hope the concept is very much clear to you go through this concept based on this i'll be sending you the activities so for today this much we'll see you in the next class till then goodbye be healthy be careful and study well bye